Far beneath the ocean's surface, a young mermaid named Coralina swam through vibrant coral gardens. Her heart filled with curiosity. One day, she discovered an ancient golden key hidden in a crevice between the coral. A dark shadow began to spread across the kingdom. Knowing the key held the power to save the kingdom, Coralina bravely approached this dragon, the kingdom's protector. Dragon awakened, filling the waters with a brilliant light. The shadow vanished and the kingdom's beauty returned. Coralina knew that this was only the beginning of the many wonders waiting to be discovered beneath. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you through the process of creating your own 3D animated story. Let's get started. The first step is to generate a story script. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use ChatGPT. Once you're on ChatGPT, you're going to type the following prompt. Generate five story ideas that kids love. ChatGPT has given me five ideas that kids love. I'm going to pick on the fourth story idea. Next, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to generate for us a detailed script for our story. I'm going to type in the following prompt. They will hit enter. ChatGPT has given us a detailed script for our story. Next, we're going to ask it to generate for us image prompts that you're going to use to generate images. And again, I'm going to type the following prompt on ChatGPT. Generate detailed image prompts for the story above. And I'm going to hit enter. I'm also going to ask it to generate for me detailed image prompts for the characters in our story. The next step is to generate images. And to do that, we're going to use an AI tool called artflow.ai. So head over to artflow.ai and we're going to sign up. And we will sign up using our Google account. And it's going to take you to a page that looks like this one here on my screen. Next, you will come over to your left and you're going to click on Story Studio. And you can see quite a number of stories that have been generated. Next, you're going to click on New Story. So click on New Story. If you do not have a story idea yet, you can click on Help Me Get a Story. But since you already have our story, we are going to click on I Have a Story. Since I'm creating a children's story, I'm going to click on children's story. Next, I'm going to bring in our characters. And to do that, I will head over back to chat and I'm going to copy the name of our first character, who is our main character. And I'm going to paste it right inside here. And I'm also going to copy the image prompt for this character here. And I'm going to paste it right inside there. Click on add another character to bring in our next character. And our next character is Bubbles. So copy that name and we're going to paste it right inside the floor. Copy the description of the next character. Click on add another character. And we're going to bring in the dragon. So paste it right inside art flow. And we're going to copy the description of the dragon. We will head over back to chat GPT and we're going to copy our story. We are going to paste our story inside the story outline text box. Once you've pasted in the entire story, you're going to click on create this story. And since I'm creating a YouTube video, I'm going to select horizontal, an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. For this video, I'm going to select 3D cartoon. Feel free to select any of these other styles. From here, you're going to click on continue to character creator. I really love how these characters have come out. And I'm going to go with these characters. Next, you're going to click on continue to storyboard. You can see the different images for the different scenes that Artflow AI has generated for us. You can preview all of them. I think they really look good. And the scenery is equally what I would really want for my story. If there is an image that you'd want Artflow AI to change for you, just come over here and you're going to click on this icon here. And you're going to change the activity of your character. Select the character from this drop down list here. And you're going to input some text describing the activity of that character. And down here, you're going to input some text again describing the background that you'd want for that specific scene for my case i think i'm good with these scenes as they are and 
you can go ahead and export your story as is but then you're going to have still images and i do not want that for my story i would want to have some anime in my story so what i'm going to do is i'm going to download all these images to my machine you realize that Ashflow AI is really good with image consistency. And that's why if you'd want to have some consistent characters in your story, I would recommend that you use Ashflow AI. Get some consistent characters in your story. Now that we have our images ready, the next step is to animate these images. And to do that, you're going to use Luma AI. So head over to Luma AI and you're going to log in. And once you have logged in, you're going to upload the images that you just downloaded from Artflow AI. So click on this icon here and we're going to bring in our images and we're going to upload our images. You can also add some text right inside this text box, but I'm going to leave mine as is and I'm going to hit enter. It will take time for Luma AI to generate our animations, especially if you're using the free version. I'm going to upload the other images. So click on that icon there. I'm going to upload our third image for animation. I will go ahead and I will generate all the other remaining animations. You can see the different generations that I have gotten from Luma Labs. We can preview these animations and you can see that they look really good. This one has some distortion a bit, so we may not be able to use that one. Let's look at these other ones here. Let's check out this dragon here. This dragon looks spectacular. It looks really good can see the dark shadow here and I think it looks good. The next step is to bring in a voiceover for our story and to do that we are going to use 11 labs. Head over to 11 labs and right inside this text box we are going to paste in our narration that we got from chat GPT. We are going to copy our narration and we will paste it right inside 11 labs. Click on this button here and we are going to select a voice that we will use for our voiceover. I'm going to select clear and I'm going to click on generate. Far beneath the ocean's surface, a young mermaid named Coralina swam through vibrant coral gardens, her heart filled with curiosity. Come down here and we are going to download this voiceover. Bring in the second part of our narration from chat GPT, then paste it right inside 11 labs. Then click on generate. Following the keys pull, Coralina found a hidden door. Download the voiceover. Finally, we need to put everything together. And to do that, you're going to use CapCut. Once you're on CapCut, you're going to click on Create Video. And we are going to upload all our animations. Click on Upload and then Upload File. And we are going to upload all the animations that we got from Luma Labs. So I have already uploaded mine right here, together with the narrations from 11 Labs. From here, what you need to do is to bring in your narration from 11 Labs and drag it to your timeline. Let's listen in to this narration from 11 Labs. Far beneath the ocean's surface. The next step is to bring in the different scenes. And I'm going to start with our first scene. You can increase the duration of the scene. Click on speed and increase the duration to about 6 seconds. I'm going to drag our scenes and I'm going to place them right next to each other. Keep listening to the narration so that it can guide you on the kind of scenes that you're going to bring in as you put your video together. Far beneath the ocean. The next step is to add transitions between the different scenes. So I'm going to click on add transition. Next, I'm going to bring in some sound effects. Click on audio, click on sound effects, and I'm going to search for a dragon sound. And I'm going to place it at the point where the dragon is waking up. Dragon, the kingdom's protector. Dra Finally, I'm going to bring in some music. I have already downloaded some music from my YouTube studio. Once you have downloaded your music, you're going to upload it onto CapCut and I'm going to drag it and I will place it just below the voiceover. You can see that it's too long. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to play this music 
and I will delete the last part. Click on it again and I'm going to reduce the volume slightly. Far beneath the ocean surface, a young mermaid named Coralina swam through vibrant coral gardens, her heart filled with curiosity. One day, she discovered an ancient golden key hidden in a crevice between the coral. When it gets to the point where there is a dark shadow, I'm going to change the music, bring in this music here, split it, delete the last part, and I'm going to reduce the volume to about 30 decibels. This between the coral, a dark shadow began to spread across the kingdom. For the last part, I'm going to bring in some different music again. Split it, delete the last part of the music. No. Our video is ready. The next and last step is to export the video. Click on export, then click on download, click on export. And that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts on AI animation in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos for more tips and insights on how to take your storytelling to the next level. Until next time, God bless.